Blow a little heater, blow. Well, out here again for about the fourth time trying to get this heater to work. It's running for about 15, 20 minutes. And then going into a lean fuel situation and the exhaust is getting cherry red. And then it starts flaming out, dying. So this is my last time trying to prime it, clear the lines. If this doesn't work. We're just shutting it down, which is not good because it's supposed to get down to about 12 and it's already almost there. It's cold, y'all. Well, that didn't go according to plan. Came out here all confident in our newfound trust and hope in the diesel heater and it just flat out let us down. Now, it's easy to say, and this goes for any product, when it fails, especially in a circumstance like this, that it's garbage, that it's junk. But I need to go and troubleshoot that. I need to go and see what's up with it. There's a possibility that there's some bad fuel um, I know that when we filled it up the first time, my dad used some diesel that we had there for the tractor back in Tennessee. So that's my first suspicion is that maybe the fuel filter is just plugged up because it kept throwing an error code 08, which is fuel delivery issues. It's tough though. I wanted to come out here and just give the girls confidence that, yeah, we've got this cold weather thing figured out, but it didn't work out that way. But pushing that aside, absolutely gorgeous night last night amazing amazing supper last night beautiful sunrise this morning all right let's get some breakfast and get on the trail oh really you should have pulled it away Well, how did you sleep? Good. Yeah? Did you get cold? Um, yeah.
that's pretty pretty tight yeah pretty recent is this just a storage cache maybe Finally found some more snow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we found some snow. We did. At least for a little while. Wasn't expecting that. But it's pretty shady here, so yeah. well. Pretty Florida. shady. Pretty shady spot. Pretty shady spot. Yeah. A little suspicious. Little sketch. A little set, sus. Is that how they say it? Sus. Sus. Yeah. sus. yeah. Gotta be careful. We're saying words wrong lately and <laughs> I guess catching we're a lot of <laughs> a lot of green. <laughs> A meatball foe. You know, on the one hand, it injures our pride a little bit, but on the other hand, it's great to have several hundred thousand people helping us ensure our vocabulary is correct. The cavalry will come. Send the cavalry. Cavalry comes. So don't hold back. We appreciate it. Once our pride gets over, it's insult. <laughs> Oh man, we just stumbled upon a secret camp spot here. This is awesome. All right, I'm marking this one down. Nice. So we've come to this spot because we have it on good authority that there are some more petroglyphs here in this canyon. So let's we'll see if we can find them. Really faint ones. Yeah, they're really faint. A scorpion with its legs. Oh yeah, I see it. And the tail. I know. Wow, that's cool. Whoa! Good one. Oh wow, that's interesting. That's like, cool. I haven't seen a maligner connected like that before. Yeah. So look at this horned guy here. These are kind of different looking. Yeah, this is maybe a different people group or time frame. I don't know if you picked up on this in the last episode or not, but Aspen has a new set of shoes. Yeah, the uh, KM3s they were pretty much done, and I'm collecting my thoughts on all these different tires and the things that we liked about them, the things that we didn't like about them, the things they did well, the things they didn't do well, and I'm going to deliver my results in the hopefully not too distant future. I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler alert. I honestly think that about only 15% of your traction performance is really depending on the tire. We've used a lot of different ones so far and there are some that are better in some categories, some that are better than others, but for the most part it comes down to tire pressure, surface, speed, tire size, ambient temperatures, all those things. And I'm going to dive into that, but just wanted to give you a little sneak peek and highlight the fact that Aspen is now running a new set of shoes for 22 and those are the Falcon Wild Peak MTs. So Sarah, what? the ladies are in love with your coat. Oh, 
They should be. It's amazing. Yeah. Who got that for you? You did. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it even has little fur. Yeah. You want us to pop the link up for it? Go. Bam. Right, right there. Bam. <laughs> That's my thing. My little sesame seed. <laughs> Somebody lost their bun. Wind blew it off. I mean, come on. It's pretty nice. And we're sheltered too. The wind's probably blowing about 12, 15 miles an hour. You can definitely hear it over on that side of the canyon, but since it's coming from the north, it's skipping right over us right now. So I'm hoping this will be a good spot for the night. And speaking of cold weather, in the last episode you saw the diesel heater wasn't doing so well. Well, we cheated just a little bit. We drove all the way back to the shop and disassembled it completely and I want to throw some b-roll on top of this right here and what we found was that thing was carboned up so bad so so bad now I just want to thank all you folks who send us direct messages and emails with ideas and links to articles and videos and all that kind of stuff on the diesel heater for improving it in higher altitudes for improving it in colder weather there was a lot of really good input that came back stay tuned for 
the results. We might be driving a long way back home tonight too. But no, I think it's good. We tested it for about five hours and it's it seems to be doing okay. So let's get camp set up, get some food in us. Oh yeah, and some of you guys are asking about our merch. Overlandstyle.com. Got these hoodies. Got, I think we have these topos. We might be sold out of these. It's crazy, y'all. It's crazy trying to find stuff to print logos on. It's wild. Here we go, take two. Let's see how this works. It's all cleaned out, it's been tested. I adjusted the altitude settings and I'm hoping that we're gonna sleep in an incredible warm bubble of diesel heated air up in the tent. If not, Sarah may just pack up and leave. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Things don't work. You're still fully clothed and ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, much better. Great. So far, she's sounding good. She's running smooth. Lots of hot air coming out. So, we're going to sleep good tonight. Knock on wood. It's Aspen. It's wood. Yeah. Kill guns. Oh. So now, we'll really find out if my idea works. Might even be hot enough to take a shower in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Now we'll have coffee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it just sounds happy. Hi ladies. Hey. Oh. Hey. How's it feeling there? Feels hey. great, but you made me die. I'm sorry. <laughs> New problems. Right? Yeah. It feels so good. Think it's gonna be nice tonight. Yes. Nice. Let's do it. Isn't this Let's game do fun? it. No, yeah. this is stressful. <laughs> what are you playing? Snake. Snake go. Snake go. How rude. How rude. 
This is so good. I'm hot. I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep so well tonight. Whoa. Whoa. My feet are cold. <laughs> All right, so some of you guys were saying my hose was a little bit too long. Anyhow, we're actually seeing decent temperatures up here. We might even be able to cook an egg there. What do you think? Eggs in bed. There is, however, one problem. I forgot the remote down in the Forerunner, so now I have to go back outside. That's the worst. Good morning. How did it go? Wet. <laughs>